After the heads are uh, assembled, they no longer really have to go to see the machine. The only time we will put the heads on a machine like you see here is on the first 10 of a series to make sure that we have everything dialed in exactly because it's all being QC tested over there. Mm -hmm. And once you go to the first 10, we no longer put the heads on, we put on what's called a dummy head. And if you look, this has red boxes, that has orange boxes, that has yellow boxes over there. That, that's a head that will simulate. It's a simulator that will do exactly what that head's doing for the indexer and allow us to do the QC testing of the indexer as if it had the heads on it. Because in order to uh, produce as many machines as we're producing, we need to compress our floor space. But to give you an idea of what happens, now here you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen automatics being built in this area right now. And four to five of these will leave today. Wow. Because they have to. Because you'll see as we walk through, there's a bunch more lined up to get in here. As they go through, QC is going to test on the machines, and when QC is going through a test, they'll test out the machine in its entirety, and once they go through the machine, you'll see that the uh, bolt box with all the fasteners, grease, grease gun, first oil for the machine will be wrapped on here. This tells uh, the QC guy that all the parts that belong there are here for this machine because, of course, the heads aren't bolted on. Once he goes through his QC test, can I use your sheets? There's one filled out. Okay, this is just one page of the fill out, but these are page after page after page of things that he will test on every machine. If there's anything special about the machine, that's, it's not our normal option. You may have something that you requested. They will photo it, they will video it, and it will be attached to this serial number. Once it's attached to the serial number, it stays forever with this machine. And I'll show you that in our, in our uh, service department. Mm -hmm. When you get to there, you'll actually see what's really behind the press uh, for the support part of it. Okay. What is something special that we could order? Maybe you want a pallet to shuttle from side to side before it indexes. Okay. Maybe you want to put a hand on there to print a glove. Mm -hmm. And you want to print this side and then you want it to rotate and print the other side at the next station. And then you may want to flash uh, right. to capture the top and the bottom. And then uh, two belts come in, grab the um, glove and shoot it off onto a dryer. If you want that, we need to have data to support you. Yeah. So we'll, we'll do all that and back it up. Or you may have a a uh, longer stroke or a shorter stroke or something that you needed special to your machine. Maybe it's it, you wanted that display on a standard machine. It's all the things that you could ask for. We'll customize, because every machine is a custom machine. And we'll build it and we'll put it into your file. That way we can support you for the life of the machine. But as the machines go through the process, they'll go through testing. Every machine is registered here. The uh, assemblers will register to a tolerance of under one thousandths. Then upon shipping, when it's installed in your facility, the tech that does your install will double check your registration to make sure that you're under a thou because the machine cannot leave here if it's over one thousandths in tolerance on the registration. And that's from bearing to bearing. So as they process them through, they'll complete them. Now every machine is, is country specific. When you start talking about country specific, that means different voltages. That means a different hertz. So if you look up here, you will see all the drops coming to the machines. And if you look back there, where you see those red lights and all those plugs, that's all the different voltages of the world. So if, if you're in Bangladesh and you're running 400 volts, 50 hertz, three phase, we will go over and plug into 400 volts, 50 hertz, three phase, because we generate the electricity, and we will build the machine 
voltage specific for your country and test it on your voltage so that when it gets there we know it's going to be right. So every one of these are accordingly and that's what they're doing. We also, if you look, every machine, you'll see enclosure type one, every machine, uh, our sub panels are UL approved. If, if it's uh, CE approved, if it's going into a CE based country. And so we have all the qualifications, all of our sub panels, all of our wiring harnesses are all built by us. So you'll see that as you go through as well. But every single piece is inspected. What country do you ship most? 45% of our uh, business is in the United States. 55% uh, is offshore with probably uh, biggest ship to last year, I believe, was Bangladesh. Uh, India was number two. China was number three last year and then it moved into Central and South America with uh, Honduras being uh, the fourth. Okay. What is the largest shop that you, that, the largest m &R shop, how right. many? Uh, well, largest customer yeah. that m &R has is a conglomerate of different shops uh, that are owned by one company and between them they have 200 of our automatic with an average, some of them have 50 plus automatics in their shop. In the United States? In the United States. And a, a perfect example is VF Corp owns Nutmeg Mills in Tampa, Florida. They're familiar. Okay, Tamp, uh, yeah. Nutmeg Mills has approximately 53 automatics in, in their Tampa facility. Doing, what is their main printing that they do? Uh, sports apparel. Sports apparel. Yeah. And it, all licensed apparel, whether yep. it be NASCAR, NFL, NBA, whatever. Very cool. But anyway, as they build them through, each machine will be uh, operated here. These heads will actually cycle just like those heads would, so you know exactly what's going on with the machines. Yep. Now what you see here, when you see these guys not wearing uh, uniforms, those guys there are techs in training. Okay. At any given time, we have 50 field technicians in uh, MNR's corral to service our product. Because when you're installing four to five automatics per day, that's 20 some automatics that have to be installed per week. And so we always keep at least three technicians in training. And that keeps our workforce growing as our market grows throughout the world. The heads are being assembled in a uh, crate. Once they drop into the crate, uh, these guys just leave it. The uh, forklifts will come in and pick it up. They'll know that these heads go with that machine and that machine. Once they wrap the control panel with a clear plastic, they don't even have to tell shipping that that's ready to go anymore. That's the cue. Clear plastic over the control panel. That means they'll pick up this, this, and these head to, uh, arms to go along with it. And they'll go all directly back to shipping. These are machines in waiting to go through the process. So we keep the chassis flowing behind them to keep this, keep these guys busy. You're seeing approximately, between here and there, approximately three days of production. And there's more being built right behind it. 